Hey, 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 everybody. It is your girl, Gotta Drop a Diva, here back with another video. I am here to do my eight month post op video. Um, what do I have to say about eight months? Um, I am going to do some body shots. I am going to take some pictures so you can see my progress. Again, if you're new here, be sure to like and subscribe and comment down below if you like these type of videos. Therefore, I know to keep doing the videos. I want to see what type of videos my subscribers like just to get a general idea because I feel like I'm posting videos and I'm not sure if you guys like it or not. So make sure to comment down below if you like these type of videos. This is going to be an eight month post op checkup, weigh in body shots so yeah if you want to see what I am going to be doing here on this video make sure to stay tuned and keep on watching hey everybody so if you are new here any new subscribers here make sure to hit that comment make sure to comment hit that subscribe bell check in let me know what you guys are up to i am officially eight months and one day post op so i want to come here and do this video it's been a long day but i want to make sure i get this video up and post it so what do i have to say about eight months being post op i feel like a lot has changed since my initial beginning video um, each month is getting better like I struggled if you go back in my beginning videos I struggled on my journey I couldn't eat I couldn't drink and I feel like all of that is starting to change my appetite my appetite ugh, my appetite is starting to change I am starting to gain a little bit more energy since I've done the iron infusion um, and I feel like a lot has just changed within these eight months. I decided to do, because I haven't did a whole lot of body shots, and I I really wish I had recorded my journey at the very, very beginning, but I, I think I was maybe one month or two months in before I even started recording these videos, but I want you to check out my body shots, and I'm gonna insert some um, maybe here or a little bit along the way just so you can see the progress that I've made um, It is amazing to me like as I'm filming this video and as I'm starting to look back at my progress like man y'all First of all, I need to know why nobody told me I was that size like you don't realize you were the size that you were until you go back and look at those videos like it's just crazy looking at either the footage or either at the videos that I've taken of how far I've come and I'm not even where I want to be yet but it is crazy like I, re I, I, I did side by side comparisons today from two months and eight months and I need to know first of all why nobody told me I was that big because I didn't know I was that big and you don't know until you start looking at the videos but my god thank you for this journey thank you for my strength um, I'm just thankful to be honest I mean to say the least I am thankful for this journey like without this journey without the bariatric sleeve and for those of you who don't know i had bariatric sleeve surgery um which is weight loss surgery on september 30th 2020 in the middle of a pandemic like i don't know like it, i don't even know what to say like having surgery in the middle of a pandemic challenging challenging to say the least like i remember at the beginning of the pandemic i started to eat even more than i already was eating like everybody was stuck at home 
I never stopped working, so I always was working. My mom was at home, so she cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I would be sitting at my desk, and the refrigerator was right there. I just, I had already told myself, like, look, you're going to have weight loss surgery in a couple of months. I already knew this was something that I was working my way up to. I didn't know how it was going to work out in the middle of a pandemic but I know I was just like why try anything you're gonna be in the you're gonna be having surgery soon so I put forth no effort every time I went to my doctor I gained weight instead of lost weight and I would tell him like you know the pandemic is going on I'm stressed out it's a whole bunch of stuff going on in my home most insurance companies require you to lose weight I am so thankful for my insurance company and they did not judge me because when I tell you at the beginning of this journey I didn't I don't know if I don't know if I should say I didn't take it serious but I didn't put forth a whole lot of effort like at all like my my thought process was eat all you can eat now because I knew in a few months I was gonna be having the surgery and it's just like if I could go back and do things differently I definitely would I would have attempted to get on the right path before even having surgery to be honest because it would have it would have helped out like granted I have been doing great on my journey but I didn't put forth any effort and I'm sad to say I don't even want to be blogging this, but I did not put on any type of effort on my weight loss journey, for real. Like, I, I'm sorry, I see my animals walking around and trying to get my attention. I did not put forth much effort at all. I ate all I could eat, and it wasn't until I had the surgery in September, so you might as well say October, that I started to take this serious, and... I feel like I have came a long way and I still even have a long way to go like I said I'm gonna post some videos I didn't start recording this journey until about two months post-op surgery in the beginning I didn't know if that was something that I wanted to do as far as recording my journey because initially when I told a few people that I was having the surgery I didn't get the best support so I I kind of decided at that point I wasn't going to tell anybody that I was having a weight loss surgery and I just kept it to myself and it wasn't until I was two months post-op that I decided you know what this is my journey I'm going to do it my way if you support me you support me if you don't support me that's fine too but this is my journey and I decided I was going to do it my way so I started recording and blogging my journey about two months post-op and I'm glad I did I'm upset that I didn't record all of it but hey can't cry over spilled beans but I am happy with my progress I am eight months officially post-op as of yesterday so I am eight months and one day post-op as I record this video I'm gonna again include some photos of my process my progress and where I have came I could be better I feel like if I incorporate more working out I will be much better I have the food aspect of it down packed but I feel like I need a lot of work on my exercise regimen I notice I have a lot of trouble areas that are coming in the more weight that I lose so I definitely have to get serious with Tony and I feel like I need more um, more structure I would say um, but let me talk a little bit about what I have noticed being eight months post-op I have noticed my appetite has increased so my appetite feels like it's getting a little bit back to normal which I feel like it's it could be pros and cons pros and cons to that because I know people who have had surgery and they weren't impacted at all and for me having surgery I feel like I like those restrictions I like those limitations and the fact that they're coming back is starting to scare me because I feel like I may go overboard 
with things that I know I shouldn't have. So if that makes any sense to you, um, I am officially, I started this journey at 292 and I haven't even calculated where I'm at. My birthday is coming up in a couple of weeks and I'm supposed to be 100 pounds down and I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay because I will get there. But I started at 292. I weighed in today. I think I was 206 or 204, one of the two. But um, I know I'm well over 80 pounds down in eight months. And that time just flies by so fast. Like I can't even believe I'm eight months post-op. I went from a size 3X in shirts to an extra large, give or take. Some places I could wear a large. I went from a 18, 20 in bottoms to a size 12. So guys, this surgery, it is the real deal. I mean, I, I hear so many people throw so much shade like that's all I can say I hear so many people throw so much shade on this surgery and if I didn't ever attempt to lose weight on my own without the surgery maybe maybe I would throw shade but I have attempted those weight loss journeys on my own and each person is different I will say that every individual is different like I whew, when I tell you I went through it, I would get to 50 pounds, 60 pounds down on my own and then completely get off track. And the thing about it, when you're on the natural weight loss journeys, if you get off track, you're going to put all that weight right back on. So that was my thing. So I knew this surgery was for me. Everybody has to decide what's for them, but I knew this surgery was for me i knew people who went before me and they had the bariatric sleeve surgery um some were successful some were not successful but i am happy that i'm on this journey i'm at eight months i'm happy with my progress um if you are thinking about this surgery um I, I recommend don't listen to anybody don't listen to me don't listen to other YouTube videos don't listen to anybody you know do what's best for you try it for you like it try it don't try it whatever you decide to do that's the best advice I could give anybody on this weight loss loss journey is do what's best for you I mean I started the process in 2016 I backed out I started the process 2018 and then I changed jobs so then my benefits changed so I had to postpone it and then in 2020 I went for the gusto I'm like in the middle of a pandemic we are doing this surgery and that's exactly what I did and I couldn't be happier like it was a rough time doing the surgery in the middle of a pandemic to be to be honest um, my support was very little but I worked with what I had and then in addition to that like I said we were in the middle of a pandemic so the hospital restrictions were very specific I could only have one guest at the hospital and they couldn't stay overnight with me so I felt like I was on this journey alone majority of the time but I made it I made it I made it um, so do what's best for you. You're going to get those negative people that are going to say, oh, you can do it on your own. Don't have the surgery, this, that, and the third. Do what's best for you. Like tune everybody else out and do what's best for you. Um, but that's enough of my eight, eight month journey. I'm happy to be here. I'm going to drop in some photos. Um, that I took maybe at like two months post-op and then I'm going to drop some photos I took at eight months post-op just so you can see the difference and where i've came from and like i said this is not even the beginning of where i started but that's where i started blogging at so be sure to let me know if you like these type of videos drop it in the comment section let me know where you guys are in your process and how you're feeling about your process i don't care what kind of weight loss journey you're on bariatric sleeve bariatric um gastric bypass a normal weight loss 
just let me know where you are i will check you guys out in my next video and it's coming soon all right everybody i am back it is my eight month post op bsg surgery so i decided to come and do a official body shot and weigh in since i am now eight months yeah i made eight months yesterday so i'm officially eight months and one day post-op so this is me here um doing my official body shot by the way I did go ahead and purchase one of those she fit bras. I purchased two. Um, this particular model, I don't know if you can see it, but I believe it's the Lux and I love it because um, I got some big boobies and when I was out jumping rope, as you can see, they were all over the place. Um, all the other little sports bras did me no justice. This is how it looks in the back and crisscrosses. I purchased this with my own money. I think it was like $75 and I purchased a purple one. I like how it has a band that you can adjust to your likeness. And let me tell y'all, don't pull it too tight because it will feel like your rib cage is about to come in. And then the straps are also Velcro, Velcro so you can kind of pull it up and adjust it. So I figured while I was doing my review and my body shot, I would let you guys see. So these, I'm excited. I was able to get an extra large pair of underwear. I do have some love handles I need to work on. Um, but I was able to get into an extra large pair of underwear, Victoria's Secrets. Excited about that. Um, the better, I usually never have too much of a stomach, but the better bra I have on, you can kind of tell. There's a little bulge there, so I need to get to doing some crunches. My thighs are definitely my trouble area, especially up in here. I'm starting to notice a lot of loose skin. But yeah, this is eight months post-op. I haven't did a body shot, I think, since I was like three months. This is my VSG post out. Eight months, baby.